lot of questions and finger pointing over who's responsible for flood recovery on one road in Ottawa. Thanks for watching. I'm Josh Rowe. And I'm Latricia Thomas. With our Sky Cam, you can see how Hunter Road is dealing with the water that is now contaminated with E. coli. Brittany Martin is there now live to tell us how residents are trying to figure out what's next. Brittany. Joshua Trichia, yeah, the Hamilton County Emergency Management Services says this flooding is backing up because of clogged sinkholes. They say they can't pump it out of here because it will just flood someone else's neighborhood. Other state agencies say this is not their responsibility. Millions of gallons of water surround these Hunter Road homes. Danny Mahaffey has no choice but to wade through these waters to get in and out. Now we hear that E. coli is in the water. Right now, Mahaffey is just waiting for the water to recede so he can clean up the damage underneath the floodwaters. He's yeah. using electric heaters to keep his home warm. We just asked for some tankers to us to come out here Pump this stuff, take it to the waste side and dump it. But we can't get that. Hey, this is Brittany with News Channel 9. We reached out to the State Emergency Management Agency to see if that's an option. Team of spokesperson Dean Fleener says pumping this water out isn't that easy. There is so much water that you can't pump it a short distance because you'll risk flooding someone else. And you can't pump it far enough away to ensure that it won't come back. Both TEMA and the Tennessee Department of Environment and Conservation, or TDEC, say they have no control over the flooding, so it's up to Hamilton County. When we reached out to the county, they referred us back to TDEC. It's just like we're fighting a losing battle. Dean Mahaffey says he hopes whoever is responsible shows up soon for these homeowners stuck in the middle. Dean Fleener with Tima says sometimes the best solution for a problem like this is to wait, let the water recede, and then have officials come in and see what caused this flooding. Reporting live in Hamilton County, Brittany Martin, News Channel 9. Brittany, thank you. Tima says 83 counties reported some type of flooding damage from that 